everybody. Welcome back to Pop Dust Presents. I'm here tonight with a very special guest, Leah Kate. Hey, guys. You've got a new single out. It's called uh, Have to Forget Have to Forget You. Have to Forget. Have Almost. to Forget. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> How would you describe the, the sound of the studio version compared to this one? Um, it's a bit electronic and dancey. Um, but it's very, at the same time, raw and emotional and slow paced. But this kind of just strips it down entirely um, with the acoustic vibe, which I'm excited about. Um, better reflects the emotion behind the song. And yeah. <laughs> How long have you guys uh, been making music together? So we don't actually make music together, but it's he. It's a sham. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you think that, though. Um, but he always accompanies me when I play live um, as my guitarist. I read on the internet, so yeah. you know it's true, that um, that you have collaborated with your brother. All the time, he actually helped me to write this song. That's so cool. Yeah, we've been making music together since we were very young. Um, I think our first song we ever made, he was seven, I was ten. It was called when the party's over, which I don't want to get into deep. <laughs> Billie Eilish just released her song, When the Party's okay. Over. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Last yeah. week. Anyways, it was called When the Party's Over, a completely different vibe, um, but it was about an after party. So that's where it all kind of began. And yeah, he's one of my writing partners um, so, today. Yeah, and what does a 10-year-old know about after parties? <laughs> um, that's a really good question, and I would be concerned if I were my mother as well. Mm. That's and mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, you're from LA, where anything from goes. LA. I wasn't after partying as a ten year old, but I don't know. I had a vision of what it would look like, and I'm not gonna lie, it was not far off from what they are like today. Um, <laughs> and that's it's pretty funny. Like I, I think you know the how should I say the the celebratory parts of life yeah. are present in your music. Would mm -hmm. you agree? For sure. Um, and I guess how did are there any parties that I can come to or anything like that? Or, you know, I guess a little bit about your lifestyle is My a better lifestyle? way to ask that. Yes. You know, I try not to get caught up in too much partying, but of course I live in New York, so it happens that, you know, my whole life here is my social life and my work life. So my whole family's in Los Angeles. So I try and balance those two properly. So of course there are some after parties here and there. And, uh, <laughs> Nothing are you crazy. are you LA or New York? Or um, are, you, where are you on the spectrum? I like to say that I'm an LA girl by day and a New Yorker at night. Explain. I don't know if I want to. You just don't sleep. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, and there, in LA, there are nights where I don't just, sleep. Hey, during the day you're just stoned, <laughs> yeah. and at night you just don't go to sleep. I'm very calm, collected, and healthy in Los Angeles, and like to do nothing but chill with my family and work out and make music and relax. Um, in New York, you know, things get a little rowdier on the side of the country, but it's okay. I have both both sides to balance. <laughs> and Luke, you New Yorker? Not originally. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, but I've adapted well. So, I, 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 nice. Um, and uh, so you guys, or Leah at least, um, are you currently on uh, touring or per, uh, performing anywhere? So I took the last couple of months to work on my next project that will be released later in the fall. Um, so that's just getting finished right now and will be released soon and then I'm going to start uh, performing live dates and locations TBD but uh, stay tuned late fall. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. And so f for the uh, the songs that are out online people can listen to, yeah. I know LA, mm -hmm. if people want to know about your LA lifestyle, that yeah. one has a music video which is really fun. Yeah, very um, fun. Can you tell us a bit about that and the inspirations? Do you do you know the other people in the video? Are um, they? I are don't. They <laughs> a, a, they're, they're, they're actors. So I was like gonna Luke. have. You don't <laughs> actually make music with him. I actually really it's wish there to be a shirtless model in the video, but she wouldn't let me. <laughs> he Come tried. On. She wouldn't let me. She wouldn't um, let me. Next yeah, time. I was gonna have all of my friends do it with me, but then I was like, you know what? I want to focus, and you know. I was getting nervous because there was going to be a set of 20 people there and I was like, I don't think I need any more instructions. So I had the director bring all of her friends, which it was the most fun day of my life shooting that video. We went to all of my favorite spots in LA. Um, left all your friends behind. Left all my friends behind. You went Hollywood but it's okay. right there, away. Yeah. Just, <laughs> but it's um, kind of, it was I mean, a blast. It's appropriate. It, it was really fun seeing the song come to life finally. I was really excited about making that video. It's really beautiful and it's so well done. I'm really happy about it. So it was a blast shooting. Yeah, it was interesting. Interesting reading that you know you had 
you grew up in LA and I think your your family had been in the music industry. I think your father in, in radio, is that correct? Mm -hmm. yes, and um, and then you decided to make it in music, so you moved to New York. And oftentimes I, I talk to artists here that it's sort of the opposite story for them. Mm -hmm. So what, what was it about uh, that, that drove you to New York to do music, given that it's, L.A. is quite a music hub, like Nashville, mm -hmm. and you had, you know, family working in radio there. I'd be like, come on, Dad, play me on the radio, um, or I'm mad. And then, you know. <laughs> L.A. Bang, felt you know. a little too easy, and I was under a lot of pressure there to work in different industries that I had been in. Um, and it all just felt really comfortable and easy and I felt like I needed a challenge and I I was pursuing music as a hobby my whole life I have been but never professionally in LA because I was just too afraid to um, I don't know why I was just I was scared so I was like I need to move to New York start fresh do what I want to do not have anyone tell me not to do it and just move forward and that's exactly what happened I really just needed a push and like to be challenged because I felt LA was too easy, always is too easy, but that's the beauty in LA. I feel like I can breathe in Los Angeles. In New York, it's known for its clean air. Yeah, they have some really <laughs> nice air out there. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I think I'll probably move back in July. Um, maybe, we'll see. Do you need like a kooky roommate? A um, neighbor? I, no, my roommate's amazing. I love her. I just, it, New York wears down on you slowly. Oh it's yeah, three it's killing me inside. Yeah. I feel like I've accomplished. Yeah, me too. I feel like I've accomplished what I need to do here, and I'm ready to go back and continue to conquer my goals. Awesome. Yeah. Does Luke get to come along? Or Luke what is, is this? Coming. The first time hearing this. He'll sending be touring, you back to Nashville. He'll be touring with me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, and what is like the full live show like? Because for Pop Does Presents, mm -hmm. you know. We break it down, we go unplugged, but if we were to see you live, yeah. what, what Much might it less be? unplugged. Um, much there, more plugged. Sorry, much more plugged, yeah. Or, um, no, I wasn't correcting your grammar, I was just... Oh, <laughs> kind <it's> of fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. I thought Twitch. it was wrong. Plugged, um, <laughs> un unweren't. Plugged in somewhere. <laughs> um, it's like very upbeat and a party. This was, you know, very raw and intimate, and as you said, unplugged, it's probably the opposite. Um, you know... That sounds like energy fun. levels are high. All right, yeah, all but right. It's always getting you know fun. Um, and I guess uh, what music video can we expect next? Is this song gonna get one? Um, this song may get one, but for sure my next single from my next project will be getting one. Um, and and that will be super spicy. <laughs> super spicy. <Yeah. laughs> so go on. You can't you can't tease us with the spice. <laughs> And without giving us something well, nice. Rhymes. Without giving too much away, the song gets really deep into my personal life and who I am as like a person. Like your finances, social security <laughs> exactly, number. Exactly, yeah, totally. <laughs> so you'll see all of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah it'll, be, it'll be a good time. Yeah. So your songwriting process. Yeah. And I guess you work with your brother. You started writing at a very young age. You said you had a ton of songs lined up, but were scared to share them. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, not too long ago, you released a song, Let Go, which I guess you let go and started putting out music. What is your song process like, and who are people that you admire? Um, my songwriting process. I like to write songs um, that help empower others, for sure, because um, like I love music that empowers me. It's what I gravitate towards. Like I love Dua Lipa so much. She's one of my inspirations for sure um she's got new rules and she does have them. new rules i mean she has like <laughs> the best anthem so i love creating um anthemic music that people can really relate to and be empowered and inspired by um while being able to listen to and have a great time too and when you when you're writing it do you do you then sort of come up with like um you know you do the songwriting and then maybe work with producers for the, the music or you know your your brother Jake, I think, mm -hmm. is yeah. he? Does he tend to be on the production side as well, or he sort does of? Both. He writes with me always. Um, I've never released a song without his, you know, guidance. Um, I mean, it's always different. Each song is always different. This song, "Have to Forget," that I just sang, 
started, uh, I literally just wrote in a notepad one day, I have to forget about you, but I don't want to. And then I had this beat that my brother had created and I just kind of started like messing around with melodies and the song came together, we wrote it and it was great. Um, sometimes, you know, he'll make a beat and we'll have an idea and move forward with it. It's always different every time. This time it just happened to start on a notepad and kind of evolve from there. It's pretty ironic because it's a song about forgetting, but it's super catchy. Well, so Dua Lipa, who, big big fan of the show, Dua, yeah. if you're watching out there, Dua, we need to have a Dua duet. Yeah, uh, let's do Aaliyah, it. Aaliyah, Dua, Lipa, duet, please. Um, and, it'll happen. Yeah, she uh, watches yeah. all the time. Amazing. Um, <laughs> and I guess, uh, are there other people that maybe you channel your your vocal vibes from or yeah, anything like that? Yeah, or even music vibes. Um, I'm in love with Charlotte Lawrence and Claro right now. Um, they're more kind of like dark urban pop, which is definitely more in the direction of what my uh, music to come is in. Um, I so. like the acoustic vibe, though. Thank this you. I'm into it, too. You know, maybe there's going to be some more acoustic along, along the way. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I would say Charlotte Lawrence I love right now, Claro, and like... Rihanna is always an inspiration, just like her music inspires me every amazing. day. Yeah, same. Um, most, that's 90% of the reason I wake up every, every yeah, day and get, go to work. I'm like, well, Rihanna. Yeah. yeah. Are like, I don't <laughs> have to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so the next song that comes out is going to be the spicy one. Yeah. It's getting, you know, super into the specifics of how my brain operates, which <laughs> I'm just going to keep being mysterious and not let anyone know what I'm talking about because it's way, now you're going to really listen to my song when it comes out. You're going to be like, I want to know what she's talking about. So yeah, it gets really in, you know, inside of the brain, what I'm thinking, who I am, because it's really hard, like, sharing your music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot in this song that I just sang for you guys that I didn't necessarily want to share to everyone who listened to it, but that's the part, or the fun part about being a musician. So anyways, yeah. You and that actually, that. you know, have you ever, like, hidden messages in songs? Yeah, for, for sure. Mm -hmm. Have you ever broken up with somebody via song? No, but that's a great idea. I'll keep that in mind. You should. Yeah. Right? Because, like, you know, I don't want to break up with you over text. Yeah. But yeah, no. over the radio, over song is kind of romantic. kind of romantic. Yeah, that's like really, I would be flattered if I got dumped over the radio. I would be thrilled. Dumped be like, over the radio. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. Shut. We'll keep working Message on it. Message from future boyfriends. Dump me over the radio if you're having issues. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like make them public or don't make them. Yeah, or just don't do it. You, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know? That's what I always say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I guess other than you're breaking up with me, what is the mu message in your music? Um, I mean, all of the songs have different messages, but really just be you and like, don't be fearful and just go get it, whatever that is going to be. Be you yeah. and get it. Be you and get it and don't be afraid, I would say is a common theme in all of my music, although all of my songs have different messages, that's a reoccurring vibe that you're going to find. Well, I like that a lot. Thank you. Because Appreciate it. I'm constantly terrified of things irrationally, and I can use that. Also, I like that yeah. you're kind of like uh, the the period at the end of a Shakespearean sentence, you know, to be or not to be, and you're like, be you. Just be it. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was too afraid yeah. to answer his own question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to say... It looks like, you know what? I'm not sure if this is... Academically accurate in the slightest, but I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> Degree in theater, I'll be honest. Uh, Degree oh. in theater. Oh, well, he's from. <laughs> Don't bring it up. We'll, he's from Nashville, cool. the theater city. <laughs> no. This has been Leah Kate for for Pop Dis Presents. Thanks for having me.